As COVID-19 numbers continue to decline in our area, schools are preparing for students to come back for face-to-face -face instruction. Of the many challenges schools are facing, one is scheduling. A Virginia Beach school is turning to a method that's causing some confusion and frustration among parents. Center New Science Gina Revelo tells us what they're doing. Tom and Anita, Old Donation School will be using a lottery system that will determine if some students continue learning from home, even if they chose the face-to-face -face option as their preference. Just like other VBCPS campuses, families at Old Donation School had to decide if they wanted their student to return in person or to continue virtual learning once schools reopen. But whether that actually happens may come down to chance. This letter that came out yesterday was blindsiding. Parents at the school got this letter from the principal on Thursday. It says due to spacing guidelines in classrooms, the school can't fit every student who chose the face-to-face -face option. So some students were randomly picked to continue with remote learning for the rest of the semester. It was just like, what? Like, <laughs> what's going on? Like, what's happening? We spoke with Brayden Wicks, who's the parent of a second grader at ODS. Her daughter's teacher is one who's named in the letter to remain virtual for the first semester. Wicks chose the in-person option over the summer. All the communication that has come from the school district has been, once you make your choice, you can't change it. And now we made our choice and now it's being changed for us. The district says 75% of ODS families chose face-to-face -face instruction, but due to unique staffing and spacing issues, they can't accommodate everyone. They're asking families who chose in-person instruction to volunteer to continue online learning for the rest of the semester. If there aren't enough volunteers, the lottery will randomly assign students. The district tells 10 on your side this is the safest and most assured way of delivering the curriculum ODS families expect. The parent we spoke to says she has more questions than answers right now. You can find the district's full statement and that letter that was sent to parents on our website at wavy.com. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.